Did I sub here? Uh, I wish I subbed. Sub was definitely the play. Man, I'm throwing. What a fucking Terra, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we have the game for SPL. Um, my opponent is bringing Sun, which I absolutely hate. Mm, but I like screens in this a lot. Oosh. Raising ball is a big win con, especially with screens. Because I can leave a long grass and shit. How much the ones we need? Especially if he gets the sun up. My gouging fire is kind of garbage. Uh, but I do have the substitute to advance kill King Gambit, so this might be useful. I wish I kept the Terra Grass. Marf is useless. Ah, uh, not really useless. But... Gouging fire is useful though. Versus opposing gouging fire. So we're gonna go Repompy and get our screens, I feel. It's absolutely needed. Um, yeah. Call the Goes, Focus Blast. If I need to destroy the King Gambit in one, let's calc some stuff. Raging Bolt versus Walking Wake. Another club in the sun. I need like plus two to maybe kill. Alright, what about Gouging Fire? Dragon Balls would kill, but I don't know like what the Terra would be on him. I'm Terra Fairy on both, both of these guys. Uh, what about Gouging Fire? It's 88 HP. Choice Bound. Choice Bound. Terra Fire. That's what they are usually. In the sun. Oh, that's so strong. I almost get all gold. We're definitely gonna get our screens first. So my, he should lead Torkoal. He should lead Torkoal and maybe Spin or Lava Plume. He should lead Torkoal and then switch into the Hatterin or Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin is fine. Uh, so we got a screen, light screen first. In case he goes for the Lava Plume, let's Kalk. I'm max HP, so I'm not very afraid that I die. But I'm not sure about the roll. Lava Room, yeah, I do die. So we're gonna get the screen up first. And we definitely need to reflect as well. Yeah. The question is versus Hat. If he switches into Hat here, I get reflect. As he nuzzles me. And then what? <coughs> I think Raging Bolt is my wing on. What's it gonna take from a great task? Let's say he's something like this, I have the screen up. Worst case, he's max attack in the sun. As a Terra. And then I have Reflect. Not that bad. So yeah, Raging Bolt is definitely one window. Originally I had Serpero in this, but we last minute changed it to, to Raging Bolt. Which I think is better versus Sun and Rain. And we were afraid of that. Last time I got destroyed by Sun, so I don't want to get destroyed again, right? Especially this stupid Gouging Fire shit. Could be Dragon Dash, could be Choice Band, could be some other stuff. In this, I think it's Speed Boost Task and Speed Boost the other shit. So he goes hot. I'm gonna get my Reflect as well. On the Mystical Fire. This means no Nuzzle. Do I suck this Pokemon? Like I can U-turn, waste his eject. Also go golden go. If I go here, goes Gouging Fire. Yeah, let's U-turn, waste his eject. <laughs> so we can invite the Gouging Fire. It is a speed boost choice band version. I don't think you would ever do anything outside of Gouging Fire. Uh, outside of... Uh, fire up attack. Us with four percent. Do I DD? Tasks should come right here. Either way, I did the fill. I'm gonna outspeed task. We'll see if it's attack or speed boost. Ideally, it's speed boost. So I can substitute versus it. 
still have a moment to get the reflect up, which is gonna be useful. 4%. I, I don't think I can calc this. Gouging fire. I will try. Gouging fire versus gouging fire. Sun and reflect. Heat grass. I don't think I'll be able to calc this. Choice band. No. I cannot tell. What is it? Is that it? 4%? Why? There is sun up. Why do you do only? Oh, because of the 88. 168. So it boosts the speed, so it is choice band. Okay, guaranteed choice band. But if it was some other shit. Yeah. So this should be charcoal. Uh, charcoal, yeah. Uh, choice band. We go for the DD. He's gonna go task. Great task. Say offensive bulk up. We'll go plus one. There is sun up. There is reflect. I wonder if I tear this Pokemon. I think I tear the the Regic Bolt to be honest. But if I can tear this versus a great task, I maybe I might even be able to sub. I wonder why he went this. What is this gonna do to me? I'm very curious. What would Torgol do? Torgol. Would it be Earth Power? Why? Shitty ass movie you could have. Clear smoke maybe. I'm just gonna attack it. It's a dead fish. Yeah, that is clear smoke. That's not gonna break my sub though. Let's sub up. Glad I changed Earthquake, so he goes Gouging Fire. I can DD twice. Or I can Earthquake, he should be Terra Fire. We have the Reflect. The Speed Tie. Do I DD again? So I can either Dragon Claw Raw. My Terra Fire. And uh, an Outrage. But if he does that, then I just destroy him with my Terra. So I think I Terra anyway. On the Earthquake. Let's Calc. Terra. Fire. 168 attack. Let's just Choice Band. Okay. Jolly. Earthquake. Versus Terra Fairy. In the Sun. Okay. So I will Terra. And I will DD again. Because I live. Oh come on. It wouldn't break my sub. That's why I did this. It would not break my sub, that's why I did this shit. <sighs> so I went for the mid-ground, but we got punished. Sucks a Torkoal. I outspeed everyone at this point, which is nice. Can I click hit grass? Should keep this. Was walking wake. Mm. Did I sub here? Which is sub? Sub was definitely the play. Man, I'm throwing. Come on, man. He actually tear at this? Why did he fucking. Th he didn't have time to think. Why did he tear at this? I should have subbed then. Why did I fucking tear, bro? <laughs> Why did I fucking substitute, bro? It was so safe. I just wanted to keep more HP. Oh, greedy, greedy motherfucker. This is a blues. Anyway, let's focus. Yes. Okay. I think that's good. Bro, why did I throw this so badly? Oh my god, upset me. 
No! Walking weak. Two specs in the sun. It's gonna do 50 to my Raging Bolt. And I don't kill. This means I have to get one Calm Mind to kill. It's okay, let's focus. I choked, but let's focus. Uh, If he goes great task after I go golden goal, we simply prevent the spin of fill. So we will go Raging Bolt. Like Calm Mind or Discharge. That's the most playable time. Damn it. Task, Dragon Pulse, he dies. And now he dies to this. Okay. Kill this. He should go where? Task or Gouging Fire? But wait, this is gonna be speed uh, attack boost, isn't it? Don't you just die to this? How slower is it gonna be? Gouging fire at minus one. Surely we outspeed always and Dragon Ball. He goes hot. Okay, I'm just getting left of it, so I don't mind this very much. I go are you gonna go task here? No, he sucks this, he didn't die. I'm getting kissed. So kill this. He's not gonna be able to get all. Uh, King Gambit comes in. Let's see Bolt versus King Gambit. I'm not Terra Fairy. I don't have Reflect. And he has two Fallen. Two means I won't die. So I can discharge you. Katao will kill me though. Unless he's not this. Mm. He's not black glasses. Great task for skin Gambit. Not black glasses. It will never kill me. So even if he goes plus 6, I always leave this shit. So I think it's fine to just spam Thunderclap, yeah. Because even if he gets plus 6, I won't, I won't die to this. Close task, he's this, okay. Ejects, alright. So he was not Butch, which is great for us. I outspeed and kill you. Jesus Christ, I almost choked this, bro. I almost fucking choked this. <laughs> Not the most, uh, uh, not the best performance, but at the same time, I think not expecting, not. Okay, let's kill this. The webs was so good though. Webs was really nice there. Uh, and I just win by spamming knockoff, by spamming shadow ball in the end. So let's just by spamming uh, terra blast in the end. GG. Alright. Now, I gotta talk about this, okay? Because Hydro Steam there, Substitute was definitely the play. But what I was afraid of is because I didn't have the screens up yet, that I would be able to. I'll be in great task range. That's why I didn't substitute there. And I didn't think. Because it was. Substitute was so free for me. To click versus the walking wake to see what it's gonna do, if it's gonna tear or not. That's why I didn't do it and click Dark on Claw immediately. Now, in the high side, I think I should have definitely subbed. So I'll take the blame on it because even if I took the damage, then I kill walking wake, then I kill the great task, or at least deal a lot of damage to task, and then lose the, the gouging fire. Where instead, I just got punished really badly for making a, 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 a dumb breed. Like it made sense, but at the same time, I'm stupid. But anyway, we're gonna analyze it in a bit. But yeah.
uh, not bad. Or at least we won it. The matchup was insanely good. And the sticky webs were basically won with the game. Nice. Okay, so as you saw, we were able to win uh, against uh, da Daili. Daili, I don't know how you say his name. Daili, more likely. Um, we were able to win versus them uh, for week four of SPL. Now, let's talk a little bit about the team preview. Uh, see what the matchup looks like and everything. So we brought this Bombi offense. The Bombi has both sticky webs and light screen reflect, and I thought it's pretty nice. It's, it's pretty nice uh, as a setter. It gets the U-turn, momentum. The typing is good. The speed is nice. So we brought that, and then I have a bunch of threads: Manafi, Golden Go with Fox Blast, Defensive EV Spare, uh, all that fun stuff. Magic Bolt. Uh, I, I might record a short on life with this team uh, and put the pocket based below for you guys to use it as well. But um, it was uh, uh, it was definitely interesting to face Sun again. Last time we faced Sun, it was the first loss that I had in SPL versus Men's Meet. Uh, but this time we were able to to do it because we prepared better. It's not like not like I played like godly or anything here. Yeah, uh, I misplayed with the Gouching Piracy, but uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. So. The thing with this sun that he brought is uh, it has Hatterin over uh, other threads that you can use like uh, Lilligand, like uh, I don't know, threads that you have seen, you have seen before, Regic Bolt. He has Hatterin which means you have a little bit more room to breathe when it comes to hazards, um, which means you can more freely use choice packs on the walking wake without like being slowed down by webs. Uh, you can more freely use boost energy, choice band. Uh, I mean, not booster energy, the sun, right? But uh, choice band gouging fire, otherwise, you take 25% from rocks. You're more freely to not go here to the boots on gouging on, on great task and in gambit. So uh, it's a little bit better like that. And uh, I like Hadrian as well. Jackpack, a jackpack of momentum is really nice on, on, on these teams. Now, something I said in the early game, I felt, I felt the matchup. Because we, we chose this team because, first of all, it's good and it had a good matchup with uh, Rain and Sun using Ray, Raging Bolt. Protosynthesis is incredible versus opposing Sun because I get leftovers and the Protosynthesis boost so I can do like both items basically Raging Bolt runs and so it's not only tanky and wins the leftovers Thunderclap Wars because of leftovers but it also does a shit ton of damage with the Protosynthesis boost. And versus Rain, it matches really well as well because of the natural typing and the priority and shit like that. It's why people use things like Iron Threads on Rain. Um, but uh, so yeah, I really liked my my Raging Bolt here, and I also like that I have the Rebombi with screens. If it was just a regular Rebombi with webs against Hat, unless I had Skill Swap, it would have been very difficult. Even with Skill Swap, he could just go back to Torpo and Rapid Speed and uh, Lava Blow my Golden God, I would try to Speed Block with. So I'm glad I had the screens up. Uh, when it comes to his threats, I do have resistance for pretty much everything. I don't mind the matchup very much. I have water resistance on Regic Bolt and enough Bolt to eat two Iron Steams. I have plenty of fire resists and actually good ones this time, even if it's offense. I have like four times resist to Raging Fury and shit. I have uh, Raging Bolt with Hilla Bulky, so I can leave and hit even from choice but Terra Fire in the Sun. Uh, Mana Finger leave. <laughs> So we we did have the tools uh, to deal with a with a gouging fire this time. We were a lot more prepared for it. <laughs> Obviously, we don't want to get swept twice by the sh by the same broken shit. And uh, yeah, the game went smoothly. So let's go a little bit about the the first few turns. So I go for a bumpy lead. I didn't. I I, I, I mentioned like what he could lead. It's like Torkoal into Hatterin. It's like Torkoal and spam a rapid spin. It's like Torkoal and kill me with Lava Plume. These are the options that they have. Um, screens, because they don't know if I have screens or not. They know I have webs, but they don't know if I have screens or not. They maybe even didn't think of it as they, as they should to be honest, because like, why would you think of screens and webs? It's a little bit greedy, but it's not bad at all. Um, in situations like this, can be clutch. I went for light screen because Lava Plume, we called that it had the role to kill. And he goes Hattering, which means I can, I'm able to get both up. And I did get both up even though it's a special attacker because getting the defense boost means that my substitute gouging fire and my raging bolt can do a lot more work versus opposing gouging fire a great task. 
um, I'm Terra Fairy on both, so I can uh, neutralize the ground weakness and uh, basically set up on them for free and do a lot of damage. Then I decide to hit them, break that eject pack, eject battle, whatever that shit is called, uh, and invite the Gouging Fire. Um, I didn't mind this at all. Like, Gouging Fire was very easy for me to switch around. First of all, Gouging Fire has to click Fire to attack Percy Bombi because Earthquake and Outrage, one is, one is resistant and one is immune. Uh, so you would have to click the four times. Uh, the, uh, he, he would have to click the fire type attack versus my four times resistant gouging fire and shit. Um, otherwise, he would have to predict like a gore, which uh, is risky, especially that early in the game. And his uh, walking weak revealed to be a uh, plus special attack. His team for the sun team is relatively slow, I would say. Uh, maybe he expected me to use something similar to last week with Ondoz and Clotzar, so he wanted all that power. Uh, with like strong Pokemon gouging fire and walking wake. I respect that. But um, yeah, we were able to very easily switch into my gouging fire here, for the reason I said before. And we were able to juggle that did 3%. We were able to tell this guaranteed choice ban, no, no other shit, charcoal or whatever. But we were able to DD for free. And we were able to click a nice little dragon claw. I didn't know what charcoal was, but he went as a switch into gouging fire, but he revealed clear smog. Uh, I mean, I mentioned it, but it wasn't like sure. The clear smoke is a little bit gimmicky, right? But uh, yeah, we were able to get some chips, see what we're dealing with. This is, uh, I think, mixed defenses. Um, and then, since he revealed that, I will substitute, which uh, destroys this thing easily. So, I don't need the sun anyway. I have the boost energy as an item, and I can drag on dance right here to destroy this shit. These are usually Terra Fire. Um, so, yeah, I didn't search very much. I just went. I just went for the Terra Fairy and Dragon Dance again. The reason I did that, I could have maybe killed with Dragon Claw and shit. Uh, but there are a couple of things that I had in mind. First of all, Terra Fairy is a very good typing uh, versus this matchup because now I resist in Garbage Sucker Punch and I also not weak to ground type attacks from Great Tusk. Another thing is I have one Reflect turn left, which means Earthquake is not going to be able to break the substitute from this Gouging Fire. Um, it will do like 20, 20, 20 something. I leave this shit every every day of the week. And I'm immune to outrage. So that was really nice. Which means that the, he would, to break this substitute, he would have to click Heat Crash versus a 4 times this technology fire, predicting me to Terra. Uh, so yeah, this Terra was extremely good play, extremely safe for me to keep the substitute up and get one more Dragon Dance to guarantee that things like Great Task and shit die in one hit. And yeah, we did exactly that. We went for this. Unfortunately, here he crit me. It's the only way he could break the substitute right here, unless he clicked hit crash. Um, so now I have to kill it. And he goes back to Torkoal. As I click the Dragon Claw, Torkoal is at 3%. And I click another Dragon Claw. Where did I click? I remember. I click hit crash. Hmm. Was there a reason to click hit crash? Like, I. I um, I click hit cast because if the hatterin was like Terra Water and something or something like that, it would maybe be able to like nuzzle me. Hmm. No, not exactly sure. Like Dragon Claw seemed free. But hit cast wasn't bad either. Like I'm surprised he went hard walking wake. Hard walking wake was a little bit I may uh, maybe he just didn't need it very much. Um it is why it is. He appears to be special attack boost, and I have showed substitute. And I was like, okay, I mentioned that he might be Terra Fairy, but I think it's a dumb bass play to click substitute. Uh, to click substitute. To click, excuse me, to click Terra Fairy here, uh, when I can just easily scout for substitute. Instead, what I had in my mind, and the reason I didn't substitute it here, I, what I had in my mind is that he knows. He knows it's dumb play to like. Terra Fairy medium of this shit because I can just substitute Scout while we deal with and then I can just beat you with the next turn. Um, but I didn't consider that he was on 5 seconds left uh, during these rounds. He was stressing about it. He was, so he more likely just clicked it very fast, didn't think much about it, just wanted to not get timed out and still not get swept immediately. So he went for this quick solution. I had plenty of time to just go for a little substitute there. Um, and do my thing. I made an unnecessary prediction that he will just stay regular, expecting me to substitute Scout. I didn't have to do that. I, I the reason I didn't do it is because I didn't want somehow, some way, like a defensive great task, like a max defense with defense sun boost, or like 
uh, or like uh, in black classes that are dark, uh, King Gambit should be in range of those hits. That's why I didn't want to substitute. But in 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 hindsight, as I said in the live game as well, it was way better for me to just sub, especially considering his timer being on five seconds for the last three rounds, last three turns. Uh, it's a sub, see what we deal with, and yeah, go from there. I'll take a little bit of damage, but uh, because I knew he was he might be Terra Fairy, I didn't know 100% that he was gonna be, but I knew he might be. So, yeah, definitely here what happens is I get destroyed by this Dragon Claw, like a Dampass versus the Walking Wake. Substitute was free basically, but I, I, I explain why I felt he would, I felt like at the moment I felt that Substitute. Is a little bit too safe for my taste, and I thought he would think that it is too safe, so he'll just stay regular and try to get as much chip as possible on the turn that I sub up. But yeah, misplay by me. Uh, I should have just done it, and then at least get one or two kills with this thing. I just went greedy and won the full sweep. Um, so yeah, my bar. Mm. Is it my bar? I think I would just done it again. Not gonna lie, if he was timer was high. And he still had time to think. I would have done it again. I would have done. I would have done the same exact thing because I knew he was there. He might be Terra Fairy, but the, sh the the shitty thing is like, if he had more time to think about this shit, then he would say, okay, he has substitute. It's extremely safe. I went walking wake on a gouging fire. No big deal. And plus, he might just try to suck the walking wake instead of just sucking the Torkoal because Torkoal can set up the set the sun again. Walking wake might have just been a little suck there instead. So, yeah, I think I misplayed because his timer was low. If his timer was higher, I would have done the same exact thing. I don't give a fuck. It was a little bit of a prediction that I didn't really have to do, but at the same time, it's the correct play. So, fuck off whoever says that I misplayed. Okay, I did, but only because of the timer. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we lose this Pokemon. Not the end of the world. And the reason I could have predicted there is because I still have a very big Wingo in the back. Uh, and I still got a shit ton of damage everywhere, so it's not the end of the world that I lost the Gouging Fire, but it was a little bit of a shame because it could have swept on the spot. But it is what it is, because if I killed him there, if I subbed it, then I killed him there, it meant that I would get one kill, Terra, Torkoal at 3%, everything was gonna be like so, so, so going so well for me. But it is what it is, we go for this, we get the Sticky Webs up, this is a fire ass play, uh, because I got destroyed the last turn, uh, I felt the need that I need to play a little bit aggressively and I felt that because of his low timer as well this time I thought about it that he won't consider webs here he'll try to save up some time he'll think I'll just get a little screen up again uh, it's a free trade for him so I felt this was a very good turn for me to get the webs up and the reason I get the webs up because we said Raging Ball is the win condition uh, boy it's a good one boy it's a fucking good one like you slow down the task that only can be faster than me if it's heavy duty boots. You slow down the gouging fire, he's gonna take attack boost, he's gonna be slow and no tear anymore to get the bullshit up. Like we were in a very fine position to just stick web there because of his low timer and because of how free Hydro Steam seemed versus what I had showed him. Lights can reflect and all that. So yeah, this was a very good time for me. I get the webs up, but this is a huge win condition for my boy Raging Bolt here. We calked, I live two, I call mine up again. And uh, it's time to get the leftovers back. The leftovers here was so enormous. Uh, the reason I won all these Thunderclap uh, rolls and turns, and not, like he would have just switched into Great Task and shit, but all these turns that he would have done is basically free leftovers HP for me, um, which is really, really nice. That's why I think leftovers on Pokemon like King Gambit and Thunderclap is so uh, enormous because you are, in, in, you are favored in these situations. But yeah, I just destroyed this, we calc that he would die, he goes catching fire, maybe he didn't think in the 5 seconds that he had that he would get slow, slow and energy bolt. But then he decided to switch back out again, wasting some sun turns, which makes sense uh, for protosynthesis and shit, it's a good place by them, even if they had 5 seconds. Um, we go for this, I have th this starts no special attack investment, so this shitty has more lift, and then the great task lift as well, so fuck my EV spare, but uh, it is fine. He was King Gambit here, which uh, will be able to live easily and will be able to do some stuff first. Me, he goes for the Katao. I get left his back. We leave that shit and then I just spawn Thunderclap. We calc here that Sucker Punch at plus 6 with 2 follow would never kill Great Task from full. 
So it wasn't my best favorite to just spam Thunderclap until I have no PP left and get as much HP as possible, even if he has these 20 million times because I would never die. And at that point, the game was basically over. Like all the maneuvers that he's doing, like his GG leftovers, Raging Bolt, just destroy them. Um, so yeah, I didn't need to do anything else. I just stay in. He can rapid spin, outspeed me. He cannot rapid spin twice unless he gets a crit and maybe kill me, uh, which I don't even think it did. Maybe it did, but I'm not sure. But then Mana he just leaves every hit unless he crit that too, and then we are going to win the game. So yeah, this was the game. Um, we're currently 3 1. Um, as I said, it's like. What did I say? It? Anyway, it's, it was an important game for our team to come back. We were like 3 5 in the score this week. So I was able to help a little bit the team to come back the score and we were able to tie again, which doesn't really help because we don't need ties anymore. If we don't win every single fucking week from now on, we're basically gone from uh, the tournament nuked. Uh, so yeah, uh, but we are currently having a nice little score, personal score, 3-1, um, with some decent games. So yeah, no bad at all, no bad at all. Man, if he didn't do anything, I wanted to do some work, man, if he's heat. But yeah, it is what it is, hope you like the video, and me explaining a little bit what happened, so... Because I feel things like that, the content, content like this, I feel help everyone, including myself, improve our uh, game plan and logic uh, between these. So yeah, I like reviewing my games and sharing the thought with you. If you like it too, hey, make sure you let me know in the comments. As well, like the video or subscribe. That's very, very appreciated if you like that. But yeah, I'm gonna catch you with another vid uh, later. Bye bye.